fundamental counting rule in a sequence of n events in which the first one has case of one possibilities and the second event has case of two possibilities and so forth, the total number of possibilities of the sequence will be you multiply how many possibilities for each one together. Now we did this in a previous video called at least problems and we flipped a coin five times and we talked about how many how, how many items would be in our sample space and a coin has two sides so the first time you you flip it you have two two choices and then the next time and the third time and the fourth time and the fifth time remember that we were using the fundamental counting rule so if you look at number one a coin is tossed and a die is rolled Find the number of outcomes for the sequence. Well, how many choices do you have for a coin? Two. How many how many choices do you have when you roll a die? Well, a die has got six sides, so you got six choices. So your total possibilities is 12. In problem number two, it's talking about paint. And the paint is by color, type, texture, and use. How many different kinds of paint can be made if you select one color, one type, one texture and one use. Well, how many choices do I have for colors? If you count those, are seven. How many, how many types? Two. How many textures? Three. How many um, uses? Two. And that's 14, that's gonna be 84. Now let's talk about factorials. The factorial concept comes into play in the binomial theorem and it um, in the binomial distribution and also in combination and permutation problems those are also counting formulas so to define factorial n factorial is n times n minus one keep on going subtracting one until you get down to one so four factorial would be you start at four decrease by one decrease by one decrease by one and multiply those together and you get 24. Permutation. With a permutation, order matters. And per a permutation may be written in the form NPR, and that's N items choose R at a time. Or you may see it like this, PNR. But the formula is N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. Order matters. Number four, a radio talk show host can select three of six special guests for her program. The order of appearance of the guest is important, so it matters. How many different ways can this be done? So you got six, choose three. Six, permutation three, and that will be six factorial over six minus three factorial. And that's six factorial over three factorial watch how I do this I'm going to write the six factorial out but I'm going to stop at three factorial so I can cancel the three factorial in the denominator so I'm left with six times five times four and that's 120 order matters combination order does not matter and you can write as combination n choose r combination n choose r and this will be n, fact, n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. An advertising executive must select three different photographs for an advertising flyer. If she has 10 different photographs that can be used, how many ways can she select three of them? Doesn't say anything, anything about order mattering. So it's gonna be a combination 10 choose three. So that's 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 10 minus 3 factorial. That's 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 7 factorial. And I'm going to write out that 10 factorial, but I'm going to stop at 7 factorial. 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial over 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1, I'm going to leave the 1 off, 7 factorial. Cancel, cancel. 
2 will go into 8 four times, 3 will go into 9 three times, 3 times 10 is 30, times 4 is 120.